the spirit of continuous improvement, we've designed the subsequent 37, an upgraded synthesizer that retains the magic of its predecessor while giving artists a wider range of sounds. Today we're going to look at the sonic differences between the Sub-37 Tribute Edition and the newly released Subsequent 37. Let's set the multi-drive to minimum and set the mixer level to around 2. If we look at the oscilloscope, you'll notice that they both look like very nice sine waves. Now let's look at the output of the audio analyzer. The Subsequent 37 has a distortion of around 1.6% and the sub-37 has a distortion of around 3%. The idea was to increase the dynamic range of the mixer so that we had more headroom. What this allows you to do is to increase the clean vocabulary of the subsequent 37. To further demonstrate this change to the instruments, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push both mixer sections a lot harder. Let's set the mixer levels to around 8. Now you can start actually visually seeing the distortion that happens on the instrument. If we go over to the audio precision analyzer, the sub-37 has a distortion of around 16%, and the subsequent 37 has a distortion of around 9.5%. The result of this change on the subsequent 37 is that you have a wider vocabulary of clean sounds. Places where this might be applicable are, for instance, if you're in duo mode and you want two very clean, distinct voices, or more complex sounds with multiple oscillators, noise, or external audio, but you still want to maintain the clean character of the instrument. <laughs> Again, we're going to look at two different mixer ranges, this time with the multi-drive set to medium, and the mixers are turned down. Both instruments right now are set up in that kind of middle zone where they really occupy the same sonic space. We can see that on the audio analyzer by looking at an FFT, which shows kind of the spectral content of the instrument. The next change that we made was allowing the subsequent 37's mixer to push the filter harder. Let's increase the mixer levels to around 8. You can start seeing that the sonic characteristics are changing. The reason we wanted to do that was the classic Moog ladder filter that Bob developed in the 60s has a very unique coloration as the filter is pushed harder and harder and it adds very rich harmonics to the instrument. While we've increased the headroom and the vocabulary of the subsequent 37, you can still get the exact wonderful sounds of the sub-37 on this instrument. Additionally, pushing the filter much harder allows you to get much more aggressive sounds, which takes advantage of very dramatic filter distortion. The final change we made was a significant increase to the range of the multi-drive. The multi-drive is set to maximum, so we can really demonstrate the difference in multi-drive distortion between the two instruments. In this setup, what I've done is I've set the mixer levels fairly low so that the signal is very clean going to the filter section. You see that there is clipping on the bottom and top of the waveforms, but it still has somewhat of a sinusoidal characteristic. On the top trace, or the yellow, which is the subsequent 37, you see that that distortion is greatly increased and now you get much more dramatic clipping on the top and bottom of the waveform. You can see here that the distortion of the Sub-37 Tribute Edition is around 16%, but if I switch over to the subsequent 37, the distortion is around 35%.
Let's look at the maximum distortion that the instrument is capable of. In this configuration, both the mixer and the multi-drive are at their maximum levels. The Sub-37 Tribute Edition is still fairly symmetrical, which relates to the original sine wave, whereas the subsequent 37 has a little bit more asymmetry, which is an increased distortion that changes the harmonic complexity of the distortion. The Sub-37 Tribute Edition has around 41% distortion, whereas the subsequent 37 has around 51% distortion. Increasing the range of the multi-drive distortion gives the subsequent 37 more room for a highly aggressive and overdriven sound. 